Hey everybody, how's it going? Just wanted to make this quick video for you of this uh, 1981 Sony Trinitron TV that I found at my relative's house. Uh, she had this sitting in the basement collecting dust for probably over 20 years. And I just brought it out, got it all cleaned up and brought it to my house. It's looking a lot better now. I have it hooked up to this uh, pair of Radio Shack rabbit ears that are probably 15 years old. And they're doing a pretty good job pulling in signals uh, from our local area. It's not the greatest antenna in the world, but it's decent. Also have it hooked up down here to this uh, digital stream box for converting the signal to digital. And I have to say, when it comes to uh, moving this TV, it's extremely, extremely heavy. For a 13-inch TV, this thing probably weighs near 100 pounds. So I have it on this 1970s TV cart that came with the TV. I don't think this was original when uh, she bought this thing. I think this was some sort of garage sale item she picked up somewhere along the way, but it's been a really nice little cart to wheel this thing around, in my basement at least. And when I get it on cable, it'd be nice to have a longer cable I can kind of wheel it around the room if I want to use it somewhere else. I think the most impressive part, though, is how good the picture quality is. I forgot just how nice it is to watch a TV like this, where you get those nice warm colors in the screen. That's a lot more enjoyable in some shows, older shows especially. Uh, compared to the slim cabinet HD TVs that we have now. Also, the uh, sound quality is a lot better, too. I'll give you a sample. I know that does no justice to the, to the sound quality at all, but I thought I'd show you. And it's got all these little controls in here as well, which are kind of neat. Obviously, it was just the VHF TV at the time. And it doesn't really matter now because everything's digital. I set to channel three and that's all you have to do. I think I had this TV in my room when I was a lot younger too. So I remember watching some of these channels on here, but it never went up very high. I think 13 was the top end of the channel spectrum unless there's a UHF switch on here, which there might be. But anyway, I thought I'd show you this TV. I look forward to getting a lot more use out of it in the future. Thanks for watching.